Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax, brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about changing the operator name. There is an operator field that shows up on a lot of estimates, and often that operator was set up uh, when the Xactimate license was first installed on that computer, uh, but then you have turnover, or a device gets passed from one employee to another, and eventually you have an operator name that doesn't reflect who's actually using that computer, that license of Xactimate, we come across this a lot in our private training engagements, and there's a lot of confusions or questions about, hey, how do I change the operator name? Therefore, we are creating this Xactimate. Uh, as you can see here, I have Xactimate 28 open. I'm gonna start here, and I'll talk about X1 and mobile at the end. Um, here in Xactimate 28, I'm in the Control Center tab. And uh, first off, I'm gonna show you where you can find the operator name. I'm going to right-click one of the estimates here and show you that there is an assignment. This is the operator name. And I have a couple options here, default, super, Seth, and one I've already created for this video, new hire. I'm not gonna change anything right now because next I wanna come up to the control center to preferences. And under settings, change that drop-down box from profile to environment. And you're gonna come down under the security tab here to users. And you can add a new user. So if a new employee or someone different is using this Xactimate license, then you would add them as a user. Now, you can call them whatever you want. Let's say uh, exact, uh, exact hack. Now, you will be prompted to uh, enter a temporary password. Note that I cannot say OK here. You can choose anything to be the password. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, as long as this user is only being selected as an operator, the password will not be required in the future. So let's say the password is password. What up, hackers? Uh, I'm going to hit OK. And now I have a new user down here. Um, no assigned Xactware ID to it, but at least I've assigned a uh, operator or created a new operator that I can use. I'm gonna go back to this dashboard here and I'm gonna right click this estimate, go back to info, rename, and you can now see that I can change the operator to Xactech here, such that when I reopen this estimate and whatnot, uh, the operator field would be changed and whatever PDFs are generated in, in the various reports. One thing I do want to show you some limitations, I'm going to open this estimate and just bring it up uh, to the side here. And you'll see that if I now click right, right click and try to go to info rename, I cannot change the operator name while the estimate is open. So you would have to uh, close the estimate uh, and then be able to uh, close that, right click, info rename again, and now I can change the operator ID. Uh, these are the steps for Xactimate 28. I'm gonna bring over uh, uh, the eService Center document here that uh, helps me prepare for this because I wanna talk about X1 and mobile here. And it's not something that I can really show you, so I just wanna bring it up and read through it with you. Um, first of all, they have an important note here that says it is not recommended to be done if you receive assignments to change the operator name. So that's a good note. The operator field is set from the username linked to your Xactor ID when it was added to the online instance your X1 is linked to. There's no way to add a username because of how it is set up, so the only option would be to create a new user. You would have to send all of the current projects that you're working on back to the cloud, log out of X1, have an admin on the account, delete the current Xactor ID user, then add a new Xactor ID with the same Xactor ID but a different username that is wanted. Once that is created, you will have to log in and resync in the upper right, then pull down the projects again from the cloud all projects tab, then duplicate the project so it shows under that new username as the creator. It's a bit of a lengthy process, hence why I'm not going to be doing it in this video with my X1 uh, here. But there is a uh, complex way to change the operator name in X1. It just requires a lot of pushing things to the cloud, deleting Xactware IDs, creating Xactware IDs with new usernames, and then bringing it all back down. And then they have to actually duplicate the projects in order to have them have updated operator name. Not as simple as X28 when it was just right-clicking and changing the operator. I hope this helps. Um, this has been another Exact Hack. Please, if you could, uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, and uh, we will see you next week.